Hello and welcome to yet another video of Tracking the Changes, the series of videos that helps you understand what is new, what is different and what is changing in the digital domain and the real world and how to use that understanding to benefit your business and arguably your life. And today we're going to talk about something which will take a little bit longer than my usual video and I haven't been putting up as much content over the last few weeks because I've been working on a number of things. And what we're going to be talking about today, thanks to your emails, is friction. And yes, we have a blackboard. <laughs> um, essentially, here's how we're going to simplify something so you can understand it and benefit from it. Consider that you as a unit, you as a person, is a system. Everything you do and everything you set up around you um, is also a system. So essentially, when you are interacting with other people, it is one system interacting with other systems. If you are setting up a business, it is you as a system working within the larger system, which is your business, which makes that a nested system environment. So one system relies on others. And when your business interacts with either individuals as customers or other businesses, if it's a B2B kind of business, then that again is one system interacting with others. As a concept, that is not very difficult to understand, although it takes a little bit of thinking about in order to conceptualize and apply to yourself. And here's what we know about any kind of system. And we go straight from the physical world and from mechanics. And essentially we know that a system in order to operate creates friction. There is never a scenario where something operates without any kind of friction. Now, in the real world, friction creates heat and heat needs to be dissipated and that creates all sorts of things. And to give you an idea, imagine what happens when you get a flat tire and you take the tire off and you have the metal rim touching the concrete. So basically, um, or the tarmac. So basically that generates a little friction. You've seen in movies where a tire gets shot out from a car that's being pursued and sparks fly. Okay, it's the kind of uh, inefficient kind of operation that doesn't allow for anything to work smoothly. That is the same whether we're talking about uh, communication, whether we're talking about marketing, whether we're talking about daily life and how we set it up and how we operate in relation to others, whether we're talking about business and how we set businesses up and operate in relation to uh, customers in terms of marketing or other businesses in terms of perhaps uh, relationships which we form in the kind of business environment and cooperative kind of schemes. How, if we take that friction is an inevitable part of the process, we need to ask why. Well, essentially friction in this kind of uh, conceptual environment occurs because we are focused on our own workings as systems. So, you know, if you're a person, you're concerned primarily about your own needs and what's going on inside your head and what's going on inside you in terms of your emotions and how that then is externalized in the motivation that makes you take action in the external world. If you're a business, you have a primary purpose, which is essentially the identity of the business and what it's been set up to do. And that is to um, perhaps you know, uh, sell something or help others achieve something. Uh, obviously, it needs to make profit in order to survive. And this is the sort of primary function of most businesses. But in the process of that, because it's focused on that, it creates inefficiencies of operation, which lead to misunderstandings, perhaps. It leads to missed opportunities. It leads to failed business relationships. And this is the result of friction again. If we were to, in an ideal scenario, if we were to entirely remove that friction, that conceptual friction, away from a business, what would happen? Well, this is what would happen. We would set up, up, we would set up a business. <coughs> Excuse me. We would set up a business. That business would be there to um, do something specific, uh, so promote a particular service, sell a particular product for which there is a need, there would be an audience. The audience would perceive that the business is there. They would go there, give you money and consume whatever it is that you're actually selling to them. That's it, job done. They would go away happy and you would be happy. It does not occur. 
it does not occur because by our very nature we're all discrete systems rubbing up against each other and usually marketing customer service and on a personal level uh, relationship building friendships etc the, the wider social contract in which we all operate in are there to lubricate that friction that occurs as one system rubs against the other what has changed in our world? Well, essentially, the environment has become harder because as we feel the pressures of created by the pandemic, created by uh, right now uh, failing economies or failing economic sectors within each economy, as we feel those pressures, we focus by design more and more on our own needs because of these we are certain. We fail to take into account what is happening to other systems around us. And then we try to externalize our own needs in our communication, in our marketing, in, in the way that we operate in the wider world. Thinking that all we have to do is do it more, do it louder, and do it more frequently, and that will solve the problem. Well, it doesn't, it's not going to, that's guaranteed. It's not going to because we forget what friction is. We forget the friction is there. We forget to take into account what is it that causes it. And we fail to find solutions for it. So, to cut to the chase, the practical reason for the video today. If you are in marketing, if you're setting up a business, if you are a startup, if you are a person engaging in relationships with your friends or looking for a mate or having a significant significant other or having any kind of um, wider sort of um, immediate community that is, is perhaps made up by your um, immediate family and family members and their friends etc etc you are engaging in activity which by its very nature is going to cause some kind of misunderstanding which is part of friction and lead to small issues cropping up. These issues accumulate, they never go away. Just because something doesn't blow up in your face straight away, doesn't mean that everything is perfectly <laughs> okay and you can carry on as usual. So if you fail to appraise these things, you're bound to, at some point, um, fall into some kind of crisis and or stumble into some kind of crisis, which you'll have to deal with. Same if you're a person, same if you're a business, same if you're a couple. So basically systems work the same way, but in a different scale, with a different impact in whatever environment they're in. So since now the environment has become more adversarial, the amount of friction which is generated is greater because the misunderstandings or the potential for misunderstandings is also greater. So the misunderstandings that occur are more frequent, they're bigger, and perhaps they have greater impact. How do you deal with this? How do you solve it? Well, obviously, you have to acknowledge that that mode of operation is suboptimal. In order to operate better in that kind of environment, not only must you ask, why am I doing what am I doing? What is it that I really want to achieve? And how can I achieve it? I mean, these are a given. Okay? If you're not doing this, you're not even working at the basic level of your system um, requirements. But what you need to ask beyond those three basic questions is how can I be of service? It's a simple question, but it changes in our mind, our perspective. And this is how it changes it. By asking how I can be of service, you are basically flipping the idea you have of yourself or the idea you have of your business. And you are really asking how can I make myself, if you're asking for this if you're asking this at a personal level, or your business, if you're asking this at a business level, how can I make myself or my business fit in better with the world around me? The easiest way to imagine this is think that whether we are talking about a person or whether we're talking about a business, we are one tiny piece of one massive puzzle. And we are asking, how can we best contribute to the picture that is forming? 
how can we best fit in into that puzzle. Sure enough, you can hammer us in almost anywhere <laughs> and we are not going to quite fit in. Or we can find the perfect fit. If we find that perfect, perfect fit, we're basically reducing the friction we generate. It never really goes away. And we are creating better conditions of operation for us and ourselves and everybody else around us. I really hope this helps. Longer than usual, this video, and I'm sorry about that. I usually keep them about three minutes. This is a complex subject. Your emails recently haven't been about friction per se, but they've been about issues which are associated with it. And this is something which I've been thinking about for some time. I really hope this video helps. Consider some of the things I said. Think how they fit in with what you do. Think what you can change. Think how you can apply these things in order to operate better. As usual, there are going to be more links in the description box below on YouTube. Do follow those. They'll give you a lot more information. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to send me emails or reach out to me on Twitter. Stay safe out there. Stay true. Take care.